Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the plate boundaries of the world and uh, make a connection between the movements of the plates and earthquakes and volcanoes and mountain belts. So here is a map of planet Earth with trenches and mountain belts like in the western part of North America and the Himalayas over here. And we're going to put the plate boundaries on the map and it shows us that the Earth's surface is broken up into like a jigsaw puzzle. And uh, like the last animation showed, um, we have divergent boundaries, and these are shown by the, by the red-brown arrows where the plates spread apart at mid-ocean ridges like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the East Pacific Rise. And then uh, convergent boundaries are shown by the black, and you can see these are places where the arrows point toward each other. Instead of spreading apart, they're converging, coming together. And these happen at ocean trenches, especially around the Pacific Ocean. And it happens where oceans close and continents collide, like where India is colliding with Asia to make the Himalayas, and where Africa and Saudi Arabia are colliding with southern Europe to make the Alpine belt uh, through uh, southern Europe here. And then uh, yellow, the yellow lines show us the transform boundaries, some of the major transform boundaries where the plates are sliding side by side past one another. Now as the plates move, they uh, jostle and rub against each other, and that's the main reason why the Earth has earthquakes. If I turn off the boundaries and add the earthquakes for a minute, you can see this is a map of earthquakes that have occurred of a certain size over a number of decades. So it shows us that the, that the earthquakes of the world are not at all randomly distributed. They occur mostly along the plate boundaries of the world. Most earthquakes occur where plates rub against each other at their shared edges. Now volcanoes are also related to plate boundaries. Most of the Earth's active volcanoes occur along the edges of plates, particularly in places of subduction, where, where convergent boundaries, where an ocean plate plun plunges underneath another plate. For example, here the Nazca plate is plunging under the South American plate, making the Andes Mountains, which are full of active volcanoes. And here, the, for example, the Pacific plate is plunging under the North American plate, making the Aleutian Islands, um, which are also active volcanoes. Everywhere where plates converge, we tend to have active volcanoes uh, forming arcs, curving lines, and we call these the volcanic arcs of the world. Another major process that mo the movements of plates does is it creates mountains. As plates uh, push into each other, it shoves up mountains. And so most of the active mountains of the world, like the Andes, the Alpine Belt, the Himalayas, uh, the active mountains in North America, these are all created by the movements of the Earth's plates. So it's safe to say that the Earth's plates create most of the major important geologic and geographic features on the surface of the Earth. It is the most important process for understanding why the Earth looks the way that it does.